Hello, my name is Dan Petrock, and I'm going to be your online stats teacher this spring of 2017. Uh, this is a picture of me and my family. I just want to make a short video to introduce myself, get you oriented to the course, and uh, hopefully get you off to a good start. So uh, I'm Dan back here. I've been teaching at DMAC for 12 years now, a uh, former high school teacher. And um, my current role at DMAC, uh, besides teaching math, is I, I work in the Achie Achievement Center and Tutor. I'm the faculty advisor for the Campus Fellowship Group, and I am also what they call a faculty liaison to distance learning, which is where I help uh, other faculty um, improve their online teaching. Uh, this is my wife, Sarah. I've been married for almost 22 years now. She's a CPA, a part-time CPA at Walmart. Uh, Gavin, this is a few years old, this picture. He's actually a freshman, and Kaylin is a seventh grader, and Jensen is a fourth grader. So. That's my family, and I know many of you uh, have other things besides statistics, uh, jobs, family, and I totally understand that. Um, so I am sympathetic when things come up, uh, but just please communicate uh, if you're having problems or if you need uh, you know, some other need that, that always comes up um, in life. So I totally understand that. So uh, just to get you started in the course, I think the best way is to show you how do you actually get to the course. So if I go to the, the DMAC homepage here, and click on online learning. Uh, the easiest way is just click on access online courses. It's going to ask you for your DMAC username and password. If you're not sure, uh, you can contact tech support at 965-7300. Uh, they can help you with that, but it's you know, usually your first initial, middle initial, last name, and then your last four of your 9000 number if you've never logged in before. Uh, but they can help you with that. And then you'll, you'll log in this thing called Blackboard. This is also the same uh, username and password you use for your DMAC email. Um, and if you want to see how to get that, if you go to the DMAC homepage, uh, it's right here. It'll be, it'll say webmail right up in the corner here. So you can click on that and log in with that. Okay. So back to the course here. I'm going to click on it. This is ours. Uh, this is our CRN 27034. This is only a seven and a half week course. So it's very intense, and I'll be posting announcements here. Uh, this is where I'll be posting this video when I'm done. Uh, I'm going to jump right to the syllabus, and um, I want you. Obviously, you're going to go through the syllabus, and there'll be a syllabus quiz you'll do right away. Uh, but just to look at the calendar, you can kind of see here's our eight weeks in a snapshot. This is in the syllabus, but if you ever want to kind of know what we're doing each week, and as you can see, this first week we have spring break starting already. So I've kind of incorporated week one and week two to be the seventh through the twenty-first. We'll be covering all the start here activities in chapters one and two. And as you can see, we have our first test um, by uh, the end of week three. Uh, so the first and second exams will be taken online. And then the third and fourth exams, third exam is over hypothesis testing, things like that. That would be need to be proctored at a DMAC testing center or at a proof testing center. Um, and also the final. So the last two exams are proctored. The first two are not. Um, and I can work with you about uh, coordinating that and actually I can proctor it online through Collaborate if uh, none of those things work either. But it seems to work out pretty good for people to find the time uh, to do that during those weeks. Just to make you aware of that right up front. Um, I want, also want to orient you, I'm going to go right to Course Content and go to the Start Here folder. And under Start Here it kind of tells you what we're going to do. Uh, there's an optional orientation course you can do. There's the syllabus quiz I'll, I'll be wanting you to do. And then what I want you to do is actually get in and look at um, your My Math Lab ebook. Uh, there is an access code that comes with your textbook, or you can just buy an access code from the bookstore or directly here online. You can request two weeks of free access, and I would encourage that uh, just to make sure um, you know you're comfortable with the course. It's exactly what you want. Um, and so, and there's a little video here showing you how to do that once you try to log in. But once we click, I'll just click on the ebook here. It'll ask you for that information. Uh, but once you've done it, you've actually will never have to log in ever again to my math lab, and everything is linked directly through Blackboard, which is really nice. Um, this is where you'll do your online homework, do your reading, lots of animations and other uh, helpful things within the um, the ebook and in the online homework. So. And if you look at, um, so the My Math Lab homework is right here, and those due dates should all be set. You can kind of see what we're doing each week. It's got the due dates here for the whole course. All right. Um, so we'll, you'll get very used to doing that, and um, uh, people seem to like it. 
Uh, and those are things where you can actually directly contact me if you're having questions through the homework system. But in general, each week will look something like this. I'm just going to go over to course content. For instance, these first two weeks is chapter one and two. So here's chapter one. Here's what we're doing. Go to the ebook. I've selected some videos to watch, some uh, interactive learning objects that you can go through. There's your My Math Lab. StatCrunch is the, the stat software we use. It's, it's directly linked in your homework and here. Um, there's a discussion board for you to do, and then here's some optional exercise uh, videos to help you. So each week will be pretty much laid out like that by, by the weeks and chapters. Uh, this is very accelerated, so you're going to be asked to be putting in almost 12 to 16 hours per week to keep up with this course. It won't be that difficult at the beginning, but by the time we get to chapters 7 through 9, it will, it will be pretty intense. Uh, so I really encourage you to stay ahead of the schedule if you can. Um, and the deadlines are every uh, Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. So I think that's enough to get you started right now. Uh, obviously, you can contact me anytime. And if you, you click on the syllabus uh, and if you click on the PDF, it's got my contact information right there. If you do call this office number, it will go right to my cell phone. Uh, so you can get contact direct me, directly uh, through that. Uh, there's my email, dgpetrock at dmac.edu. And um, so I, I really like teaching the accelerated format uh, and, and with respect to people seem to be very engaged almost every day because it's the only way they stay successful. Um, I'm pretty good at responding quickly. I mean, I have a 24 hour turnaround, um, but usually it's quicker than that. And um, even over spring break, I will still be answering my email, which I, I know my probably wife doesn't like that, but I will still try to help you even over spring break. Um, and we've and I've made time so you don't have to work over spring break. But if you're someone who's got the time, uh, go for it. And um, I'm here to help you. I'm here to facilitate your learning and answer your questions. And uh, I've been doing this for many, many semesters. I really enjoy the course. Uh, I'll enjoy interacting with you. And I'll be encouraging you to interact with others uh, through those discussion boards uh, throughout the course. So I'll just end with my picture again. Don't hesitate to contact me and uh, really looking forward to helping you uh, be successful in this class. And, and for many of you, I'll be curious what your degrees you're going for um, when you're you know, potentially going to graduate, maybe. Uh, it's, so we get a very uh, diverse group in these late start classes and uh, can't wait to help you.